Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV, and I'm here with Wayne Wells from Liquid Spring. We are actually in Lafayette, Indiana. Nelly's behind us. Liquid Spring is right behind us, and we are here for a couple things. One, Nelly's gonna get some uh, new shoes. She's gonna get outfitted really well, some new, a new skeleton. The second thing is we're gonna document everything, what's getting done to Nelly. That's why we have Wayne here. So just tell us who you are, Wayne, and what your product is. Got it. Wayne Wells, Liquid Spring. I am the RV salesperson for Liquid Spring. We make a compressible four-link suspension. On Nelly today, we're gonna put both a front and a rear suspension on. What it's gonna do is give a much more comfortable ride it's going to give a little bit better handling. It's an intuitive suspension, so basically it makes all the adjustments for you. So what we have right now on our coach, if you're new to the channel, we have a myriad of suspension upgrades to include front upgraded Roadmaster anti-sway bar. We have front and rear sumo springs. We have the super steer, the new uh, radius rods that they have. Hun, what else do we have? A rear track bar. We were going to do Coney shocks. Okay, so don't have his pony shots. And we also have a safety plus steering stabilizer. Now the reason why we did all this stuff is because when we got Nelly from the factory to 2019, the F53 really wasn't up to par for the amount of weight that's on this coach. And when we brought it, we're bringing it home from the dealership, it was pretty scary. Now right now it's kind of windy outside and we spent a decent amount of money on those suspension upgrades and it has improved. But if you don't recognize Wayne from our previous videos, we talked to him down where we're in Tampa and we took one of their Liquid Spring demo vehicles for a test drive and it was outstanding, we were sold. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the coach, we're gonna take it out for a drive, we're gonna tell you what it feels like in this wind with our current setup and then when we're all done with this setup, we're gonna take it for another drive. All right, so we had about a 16 total hour drive over two days coming down and we did hit some windy situations and compared to stock it was a lot better however it's not as good as what we felt when we were in tampa and we're just going to take in a quick test drive now i will ask you something wayne so you're going to notice when i make a turn you're going to hear some creaking now I, are those because of the leaf springs You'll hear a little bit of creaking. Yeah, that's undoubtedly that's the leaf spring or the sway bar. Okay, so in your professional experience, will that be reduced or eliminated? Moving should, up? You shouldn't hear any of that noise okay. going around the corner when we're done. Sure. All right, so I'm going to drive a little more aggressively than I normally do. Well, if you watched our last video, you know MJ likes to, uh, how could I say, drive more aggressively as she did on the Florida highways. But I'm more comfortable in this coach. You know, I didn't want to drive too crazy in Tampa because it wasn't my coach. I was told oh, you to guys drive did. violently, remember? It was all Wayne's fault. So right now I'm feeling it kind of back and forth a little bit. Yeah, you, well, yeah right now. You feel the coach is kind of always in a little bit of motion. Yes. And that's our suspension tries to consume that energy. To try to take some of that motion out of the coach. And we'll do the same route when we're after we get our suspension on it. We'll uh, we'll let you give your inputs. Yeah, this is a very sharp left-hand turn, as you can see. Coming up. Coming yeah, up. It's, uh -huh. it's banked, kind of in the opposite direction it should be. So it gives you kind of a bizarre sensation when you make the turn. So I, I think maybe you guys actually set this road up because I'm feeling a lot of a lot of this teeter teeter totter. And what, also, why I've noticed when I drive Nelly now, wow, this is uh, pretty sharp here. <laughs> Hold on guys, when I uh, drive Nelly, if the road is crowned, I'm constantly correcting. And I don't know if, if the liquid spring will kind of uh, take some of that out. It should help it some. Um, we also probably want to make sure that we have the safety plus aligned good when we're done. Okay. Now part of the installation on the front and rear, all the leaf springs are coming out and you're going to put in your system. You're going to have to realign, do alignment and stuff like that? We will, we will align it as we're putting it all together. Okay. Um, we'll reset the safety plus. Yeah, I mean, that's that's all part of part of the way our system goes gotcha. in there. It's, it pretty much self-aligns itself as you put it in. I said Wayne was riding me a little bit in Florida no, no, for, not, no. for not driving aggressively <laughs> enough. <laughs> you were doing fine. So I used to really kind of feel that lean. And again, this is a, a huge improvement from one comes stock. Well, at least in the 19s. I don't know about the 21s. It was quite uh, scary. Well, and feel the... the change of pavement when we're 
now and then just kind of lock that in, the, in your head. Okay. You know those bumps we're going over, yeah. man? Okay. You yeah. feel like, remember you're on a motorcycle and you make that turn, you feel like you're pretty much lying yeah. on the street? When we first got this, this is what it felt like. And now you can feel that up and down on those bumps. How's the wind? Uh, it's actually not too bad right now. On the way down, I was getting blown a little bit. Right now, it seems like it's not too bad. So basically what we're doing now is we're gonna weigh the coach. Okay. We're gonna get a four corner weight before and after. So as you can see, they put the scales underneath each tire. All right, so something that's pretty important, just don't mind the noise in the background, we are in a working <laughs> plant factory here. So this is actually gonna be the first four corner non-liquid spring coach. Correct. Meaning something outside of your own demo in the country. Plus, it's gonna be the first four corner Newmar gas coach that you guys are doing. So this is pretty exciting. Correct. Right. And uh, we're gonna be the reference point to see how these things handle, right? So it's gonna be the first one out there. Absolutely. We're, we're very excited to see uh, what you folks think about it after it's installed. You've got a lot of modifications done to yours, but it's gonna be real Im impressive to see how much the difference is even with all of your modifications that you've already yeah, done. Yeah, we're really looking forward to uh, taking it out after it's all done. So, you know, we're gonna be removing your leaf perfect springs, scenario, perfect world. the hangers, your axle uh, clamp group, that uh, bracket on the top comes down. This aftermarket sway bar that you've got in there will come down and in place is going to go an upper and lower control arm setup. The exhaust will come down temporarily, but it will go right back on. It's designed to fit with your factory exhaust. So that's pretty much the majority of it for the rear. There'll be some hangers that take place of where these go for the control arms. And then as we move our way forward, around this area here, you're gonna have your volumes, which are those long black cylinders that you saw in the box. Power module will be somewhere in this area as well. And then up front here again, we're gonna be removing the leaf spring suspension. The safety plus can stay, but the sumos and everything else that you've got up there, that will all come down and be replaced by the liquid spring again. The leaf springs come down. We have bracketry that goes in place to support the control arm setup. Essentially what's happening is, is it's going from a standard leaf to a five link suspension. Yep. So we are day three of the four corner install. So Wayne's gonna explain what got done day one and two and then what's still on the list to get done. Perfect, let's go underneath. Let's take a look at where we're at. As you can see, we have the full rear suspension is now mounted. The struts, the lower control arm, the upper control arm, it's all clamped on, torqued. This is complete. As we go forward, we'll kind of see some other, other products. We have the volumes right here, one on each side. The hoses are already connected. We're pretty much complete with the rear suspension. So front hangers, lower control arm, upper control arm, height sensors, everything is done on the rear, it's buttons. Right now the guys are working on the front suspension up there and they are probably halfway through the front suspension right now. We, we had a few interesting things because of the Newmar chassis. There were some clearance issues we had to work around, nothing major, but just some small minor details we had to work around. So far, the install is going phenomenal and we're, we're right on schedule. So yeah, you had mentioned there was a couple of uh, little hiccups, one with the, uh, they had to some, drill some stuff by hand. Yes. So, I mean, in your opinion, would that be one of the reasons maybe why you want to have it installed here because you guys can, resolve those problems and maybe even fabricate some parts that Absolutely. can't be done in some place. Well, and that's, that is truly one of the reasons we like to have the suspension done by the OEs before the box. If this body wasn't on here, none of these things we ran across would be an issue. They'd all be plug and play. So there was one thing that I actually just learned. I thought it was just one canister, one volume, but you actually explained it much more in detail. No, what, what we have here is we have one volume for each corner. So each corner is independent. So you'll see there's two stacked right here for the front. 
and one on each side of the frame rail for the rear. The way that works is you're compressing, each corner is compressing its own fluid. So if you have one that does a, a big significant bump, it's not going to induce it to the other side. That's the beauty of our suspension is it's consuming that energy with each corner, not trying to do it around the whole coach. And that is truly one of the technology benefits you have of using a compressible fluid is the consumption of energy and you, you're not passing it around the coach. Okay. So what we have here, this is the front suspension and Rich has got the front strut hanger up here. We have the steering sensor already mounted. He's got the upper and lower control arms on, the clamp plate on the axle. Kind of a unique feature of our suspension. We actually designed in a bracket to attach your Safety Plus. It's part of okay. our suspension. Nice. It'll be on every coach, whether they use it or not, just because so many of these coaches have it. But as you can see, the front's going really well. They have the subframe up here already yep. in. They have, what do you think, Rich? 70% of the front done? Yep. We're just starting day three. Yeah, I mean, these are some really yeah, this is beefy, robust beefy and, parts. And all this is already torqued up. But yeah, this is this is going very, very well. They have the, the volumes for the front suspension already attached. So they're they're really close. Alright, I'm crouched down a little bit. We are in the final day, the final uh, I guess run through and inspection, and Wayne's gonna be explaining what goes on you know, before this coach leaves the facility to make sure that it's, it's complete and the customer is not gonna have any issues. So what we've, what we've done, if you come, if you come and you, you can look like on these two sp spots, we have them marked where they've been torqued to. So we mark all the torque specs. Somebody's going through and making sure all that's tight and has been torqued. We'll make sure all the fittings are tight. M marks on all of the stuff, just all around the coach. We're gonna make sure that everything is on here that's supposed to be, which that should be. Again, our engineers will come out. We have an engineer and a customer service tech that will come out. They're actually up there looking at the front right now, and they're gonna make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, tight, marked, checked off. But again, we're doing that last final check through the coach to make sure there's no hoses rubbing. We don't have anything that we have done that will cause issue later on. But again, that's one of the things we really we really stress is to do that last final check to make sure there is nothing loose, nothing not finished. I mean, if we leave this hose loose and it leaks oil, you're going to be on the side of the road looking for fluid. And we don't, we don't want that. So here we've got the power module. This is where it sits on this particular coach. We had to do a little bit of different work because there was something in our way, but nothing major. The two tanks for the front are right here versus the rear we were looking at earlier. And we put both of them on one side basically just to clear the exhaust. And we're actually going forward toward the front suspension. And you can kind of see the front suspension from the back side. Most everything on the front suspension that we put on is on the front side. So if we come around up front, so you'll kind of see, here's the structure for our front suspension, the upper or the lower and upper arms, height sensor. Basically it all packs in there very nice. It's fitting in the same basic envelope that the leaf spring fit in. But again, everything on this coach went very, very well. We'll we're gonna take it out and drive it here in a few minutes, but you can see the strut up in here. Again, very nice, clean installation. All right, so we are now the final testing uh, quality control phase. Eric, who's our liquid spring customer service, they actually just took this out on a full test drive to make sure everything is working great. He's gonna explain the new mechanisms in here and, and how everything works to the customer. So we're going to go inside and then Eric is going to explain everything to us. All right, so we're inside now. We had the driver interface mounted right next to our equalizer system. That was our request and you guys will put it wherever we want pretty mm -hmm. much. So Eric is going to talk us through exactly what this interface is and what it does. So the first thing that you want to take a look at what we always have everyone is the four amber lights. Those four amber lights, it's got to do with your steering input. Those will come into play when your ride quality comes to change and also when you turn the wheel left or right past 20 degrees. So when you turn the steering wheel, which I will do it right now, mm -hmm. the lights will turn off. That basically lets our system know that you're going through a turn. You center it back up, the steering is centered so it knows that you're driving straight and it'll do the same thing turning the opposite ride. The next thing is on the ride height side. That one with this being a four corner, it, it'd be extra features to the light compared to a two corner display. 
So right now we're showing that we're at normal ride height. If you just want to raise the rear only, you can press the down arrow while lower the rear, only the back lowers. So once the light's solid, you'll see that the vehicle has transitioned to low. But if you want to lower the front end, press down one more time. Oh, we feel that. <laughs> yeah, and if you want to take a quick glance outside, you can see you know, how low it is right now. The next thing, if you need to raise it back up, press up once and it'll raise the vehicle back to normal right height, which you'll hear and you'll see the lights transitioning to let you know that it's raising up. Now that will raise the front and rear at the same time? Yep, and if you want to do same thing, raise all four corners, you press up twice. There you go, so once high is lit solid, you've commanded to all four to raise up. So the next thing is when you're below 15 miles an hour, you can raise or lower the vehicle if you need to, depending on the entryway, the ramps, or pulling into your driveway, which people have told us, informed us of that, they have to raise or lower. So as long as you're below 15, you can command it to raise or lower, the vehicle will move. If you stay above that for a certain amount of time, it will completely ignore, ignore the command, and it'll just stay at normal right height. The other thing too, in case if you forget to level the vehicle back out, if you drive off, hit 15 miles an hour, it'll completely level back out on its own. So that is one of the other features we have built in because we do have to sense for speed how the system will operate. So, and then, so right now, yeah, we're showing it high. We get these calls from time to time is because the way our fluid is, we have a silicone fluid, reacts to temperature. So you may see the vehicle just sitting there, raising, and lowering, and depending on the temperature. That is perfectly normal. So another thing you may notice on the interface is the on off button, which there is a light above that. If there is a fault of some sort, you'll see a red light come on and a green light somewhere on that interface and they'll indicate a fault of some sort. If you do see that, please call us and we'll help you or call Wayne and we'll help you determine what that fault is. So always, if you ever notice that, just give us a call right away so we can help you assist with, see, determine what the fault is on the vehicle. So this here is what we use for every test drive we plug in our laptop to record data. This basically indicates that this, you know, make sure the system's operating the way it should. And before we hand it to the customer, we always use this just that's it. We're 100% guaranteed that this vehicle, when it leaves out of here, it's working the way it should. All right. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, we did our test drive with our setup. And we had, like we said, a bunch of suspension upgrades. But now this is the first time taking Nelly out with the four corner system. We're going to do the same route. I'm going to drive it hard like I did on the other one. And we're going to see what we say. All right. So let's head out. It is uh, substantially brighter out today the first thing i noticed right away before we turned the camera on is that the steering is tight which i like it has a somewhat of a sportier feel and wayne explained uh maybe why that he knows why these things happen i just know how they feel yeah the difference is you don't have the flex through the leaf spring it just tightens everything up all right so first turn coming out yeah i mean there's oh my God, almost, awesome. there's really no there's lean. No lean. And, and you don't get this, which we, we were getting, you saw it in the beginning of the video, we're getting kind of this stuff. There is no lean. Well, my goal is to try to knock Jason out of his seat right now. So we'll see if we could do that. Are we going to left and right? Or yep, just left and right. And right. <laughs> it's amazing. Now we're going to take the right pretty hard. So right now we're in comfort, so there's be a dish, little bit additional body roll, be a softer ride right now. We, so. we put it in sport and a whole bunch more of that body roll. Will yeah, go so away. if you want to go ahead and swerve right. now in sport and comfort. So I'm gonna go, so we're in the, the softest. I'm gonna go into sport now and try to make it as tight as possible. So we're on a road right now that we were doing this when we first drove the coach. What were we doing? This, whatever that's called. Okay. Sway. <laughs> Back and forth. Sway. <laughs> It was just in perpetual motion. What you'll notice is this is going to consume a lot of that energy. Yes. So the coach isn't always in that movement. So yeah, so just like Wayne said, there, there's a little bit of that, but it's not back and forth. It's, it's almost immediate, like, like absorbed. Take a little hot in this turn. <laughs> You're supposed to uh, brake before, accelerate through. Let's see. <laughs> I didn't notice that turn was coming out so fast. <laughs> He's going to be hot putting it. I would have been in the cornfield. Yeah. Now, did you, when we went around the corner, you felt there was less body roll. Yeah, there was certainly less body roll. And, and like you just said, it, it's, it's crazy. It's almost like it's absorbing that movement. Yeah, it's, it's, and that's, it is. It's absorbing that energy. And here's a hard right. 
I think you wow. hear things rolling in the back. Did that cabinet just open? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right. They all just Jason opened. Right so we just uh, flew the cabinets open. <laughs> never had so that you kind of have to be in it to feel it, but I'm taking the turn somewhat He's aggressive. He's a lot different than you. Somewhat yeah. aggressive. This is unbelievable. <laughs> we love to see excitement. This is, this is, this is the whole thing with our suspension is it makes you happy to drive it. Yeah, I mean, look, you can see I'm one hand right now, and I'm approaching almost 50 miles an hour. One hand. And there's no movement. No, and this road does kind of cram wow. down. Well, you, so, so if we want to do the, the new route, up here we'll turn to the left. At okay. the barn. Yep, at the barn. Hang on. Hang on oh, I'm going to slow it down a little. Well, I need yeah, to, this one on. is uh, kind what of What I need there. to do is update the brakes now. Just remember Jason's standing up. <laughs> Jason, let's see how good your balance is. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, I took that a little slower. So what I'm hoping for is on the way home, we had some windy conditions coming down, but I'm hoping the wind whips up on the highway. I'm taking a little slower for Jason, but it's pretty narrow here. I mean, it's just, it's really hard to ex express how easy these turns are. All right, so. I'm just gonna say it's like driving a truck. Like we're driving Izzy's truck. Yeah, exactly I'm taking these like turns it. with one hand. It's, it's when, probably not the safest thing, but this is what I'm doing. Drop it down in normal normal okay. let's let's see what you see what you think so with the bridge take about 40 45 if you want okay <laughs> try to launch this, it do you remember the big bump at the end of this bridge yes yeah wait i've had people take a pretty good amount of speed after our system has been installed make sure there's no cars coming <laughs> no yeah, that would be yeah. Good. all right let's go is this the bump we're talking about here yeah right here and at the other side of the bridge floor it, floor it. i mean there's no movement see how it just there's no movement it. So I'm doing almost 50 right now, and it's just, wow. you know, it's like this, that's so, it. So yeah, you, what you'll notice is one bounce and yep. stop. That's what our suspension, again, it's just absorbing the energy. So, so the difference is, it's right now it's this, boom, done. It's not this. Correct. Yeah. It's not this, it's boom, done. And that, that is all done with one hand. It's really, it's truly amazing how, what the difference is on this drive right now. And these are actually good testing grass because these roads are not, no, yeah, this, they're not, they're not very good. So what this is allowing, and we explained this in other videos, is just you, you can relax. You can relax. You know, these gas coaches, a lot of times if you have no upgrades, you are fighting for life. And that might be fine on a 40 minute trip, but if you're on a long trip, that becomes very fatiguing very quickly. Uh, you know, there's some suspension upgrades that alleviate that, but it is nothing like this. We've had them and this is just another level. It's the train tracks. I mean, there's, there's, there's yeah. nothing there. No. You feel that initial bump and that's it. You're completely controlled. We're gonna call it one and done. Left? Yep. Yes. yep. So now we're on a little bit of a better roadway. We'll see how, we really shouldn't even feel anything now. No, and, and on a cement road, you usually feel all these little changes in pavement through here. Mm -hmm. So even the safety plus is tracking straight. I mean, I'm pretty straight. Yeah, it's, 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 it's tracking. You have to do a slight adjustment on it. That was that was just the first. That was just where it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't noticed you having to pull on the wheel, so I'm not. No, sure just if it's crammed a little bit, it pulls. But like the steering wheel's straight right now, and it, it's it's straight for the most part. So we're going. We're going straight. Okay. So was your steering wheel straight? Before? Yes. Okay, that's yeah. perfect. Which is kind of a little uncommon on a Ford chassis. Like right now, it's pulling a little to the left, but the road is also kind of... Yeah, the road is crowned left yeah. here. So the biggest thing I find is that what's going to happen, people might drive these things a little more aggressively and forget they're, they're you know, 37 feet behind them. Yeah, the biggest thing we get told by customers like weeks or months from now is they're not as fatigued and they're driving faster. Like through turns, because they're gonna have more confidence. I mean, that's the biggest thing we get told by a lot of customers down the road. And the significant other will drive the vehicle. Yeah. I know in your family that's not an issue, but yeah. we do get that a lot. Yeah, I think Eric just hit it on the, you know, hit the nail on the head. It's, it's just, I'm very relaxed right now. Coming out of the factory, they're just not very good as far as the suspension on them. And uh, this is, makes it that much better.
So we're wrapped up. We just finished a test drive. Everything is functioning as it should be. Both me and MJ, we have commented amongst ourselves just what an experience this has been coming down here. Professionalism. These guys, men and women at Liquid Spring, they take their job very seriously. I mean, from start to finish, we've been accommodated. Class A all the way, first class. So. Wayne, thank you. You bet. We really appreciate Chris, thank uh, you. you guys coming and seeing us. And I can hardly wait to hear a three-week uh, from now tour of what you think of driving home. Yeah, so if anybody's new to this video, this is going to be a running series, right? So we met them in Tampa, and now we have the install. We're going to do an update after a couple of months. We're going to do an update after a year, both what we like, what we don't like. If there's any problems, we're going to let you know, and you encourage that. Yes. But I don't anticipate that happening. What I will tell you, this is this is just a step above anything else out there on the market for its suspension system. So in the comments below, let us know if you have a liquid spring system. If you have it, what do you think? Are you thinking about getting the front end? If you are contact Wayne, right? Use that discount code for sure. And if you don't have it, you're looking for a full four corner system, we would recommend that like 100%. Don't even think about it. If you have the funds, do it. And for myself, Chris, Wayne, Jason, MJ, everybody at Liquid Spring, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.